Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad to see you today. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about a brand new feeling or emotion, and this one is called Grumpy. Grumpy is when you're kind of mad and kind of sad and something just doesn't quite feel right inside you. You can be grumpy if you're tired. You can be grumpy if you are disappointed and you don't get something you really, really wanted. You can be grumpy if you're hungry and you're not paying attention to your stomach and how it feels. You can be grumpy for a lot of reasons. Today, I've got two great stories to tell you about them. But before we get to the stories, let's sing hello. Put your hands up so you can join me. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Oh, I am so excited for today. Being grumpy is not fun, but when you understand what being grumpy is, it can help you make better and more safe choices. It is. Are you ready to get started? Got two great stories, like I said. The first one, you might know this person already, this character already. It's called Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat is a very famous cat. He has a lot of books. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. And it's written by Eric Litwin. And the art or the illustrations are by James Dean. Are you ready for a great story? It's a great one. <clears throat> was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much that he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Does he love them? He does. <gasps> Oh no! Pete stepped in a big pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? So something unexpected happened and he could get really grumpy or upset about it. Hmm, he had white shoes and he stepped on strawberries. What color do you think his shoes will turn? Let's see. Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Did he get upset? He didn't. He kept walking along and singing his song. Here it says, everything is cool. Means it's not a problem. So is he getting grumpy about it? He's not. But this time he changed the song. He said, I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh, he's riding a car. <gasps> oh, no! Pete stepped on a large pile of blueberries. What color did they turn his shoes? Hmm, first they were white, then they were red. What color? Oh, they turned blue. Did Pete cry? Did he get upset? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. He said, awesome. Are you ready for the new song? Here we go. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. 
Oh, look. He's got an umbrella to keep his shoes warm. I'm sorry, not warm, dry. That's a smart idea. Oh, no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Do you know? It turned them brown. Did Pete cry? Did he get upset? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. And here he says, groovy. He's not upset at all. He's not grumpy. He doesn't feel yucky on the inside. Now he's saying, I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh, look, he has a cup of something. Do you think it's coffee or hot chocolate? I don't know. Maybe it's just chocolate milk. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a big puddle of water. And all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? Do you remember what color they started? Let's see. They were, were white, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Oh, take a look. He looks surprised, but he's not crying. He's not upset. He's not grumpy. Goodness, no. He kept walking along and he sang his song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Oh, look. He's squeaking as he walks. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Do you ever have your shoes squeak? My shoes squeak sometimes. Can be kind of annoying. The moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. The end. So Pete had a lot of things happen to him in that story, but he didn't get upset about it. He didn't feel frustrated or sad or angry even. He wasn't feeling grumpy, but he had a lot of things that could have made him feel grumpy. Feeling grumpy is a choice. And sometimes when you feel grumpy, you kind of have to choose how you're feeling about it. Your brain has to realize that you're feeling grumpy and then you have to make a choice to change what you're doing. It can be kind of tricky. It can. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sing another song. We're gonna sing the happy and you know it song. Are you ready to join me? Okay, we're gonna start with clapping. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. This time, pretend to be sad. Yeah, when you're sad, your mouth kind of turns down into a frown. And your eyes might get a little bit sad. There might be some tears that fall. When you're sad, sometimes you cry. So we're just going to wipe our eyes if we're sad. Are you ready? We're pretending. We're not crying for real. Here we go. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. <laughs> If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, 
Wait, you I... <laughs> Are you done being sad? Me too. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is if we're angry. Angry is a really strong emotion. Makes your body feel all warm and tight and your face gets all scrunched up. Can you show me your angry face? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes when you're angry, your whole body pulls in close like this and it gets you angry and angrier and angrier. When you're angry, your brain is not thinking very well. It's not. So when you're angry, the most important thing to do is to take a breath so your brain can start thinking again and make good choices. Because you always have a choice, but sometimes you might not like them. Are you ready? We're going to pretend we're angry this time. Here we go. If you're angry and you know it. Take a breath. <sighs> if you're angry and you know it, take a breath. <sighs> if you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. Are you done being angry? Me too. The next emotion that we're gonna do is if we're loved. Loved, you feel on the inside again. You're gonna feel all warm and snuggly and you're just gonna wanna give people hugs or smiles, okay? So this time we're gonna give ourselves a hug or if there's someone around that you love, you could give them a hug during the song. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're loved and you know it, share a hug. Oh! If you're loved and you know it, share a hug. Oh! If you're loved and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're loved and you know it, give a hug. Oh! I love love. It's my favorite emotion. What's your favorite emotion? Do you like feeling all scrunched up and angry? Do you like feeling sad or happy or silly? There are so many emotions that you can feel. My next story is a fun one. I like it a lot. It's called the Pout Pout Fish. Because when you're kind of grumpy, sometimes your face will look like a pout. A pout is kind of like a frown. Yeah. The only difference is when you're pouting, your bottom lip normally comes out more. So like this. See how my bottom lip is out more? That's pouting. Okay. So we're going to read about the pout pout fish. It's kind of silly. Get ready. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Do you know which one it is? Yep, it's that one. There's lots of fish there. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face. I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with his wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Said the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but I am what I am. So his friend's trying to give him advice and he's not really listening. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. 
Boom! Along comes a jellyfish who floats through the ocean with his tentacles all twirling in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly growl, wish you wouldn't join us with a grim Santa growl, said the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. Is his choice to be grumpy up to him? It is. Being grumpy is a choice. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She's squirmy and she's squelchy and she's slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a little smile, a little joy, a little hope? Said the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any chance. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Mm. Do they like him being all grumpy? No. Most people, when you're grumpy, don't want to be around you either. It's tough to have that feeling, but that's why it's a choice. You can change your attitude and you can change your emotion. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Said the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. Hmm, so he's saying again that he doesn't have a choice. Does he have a choice? He does. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. <clears throat> Something different. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey. <gasps> Something very much surprising happened. Uh, can you handle it? Okay, I'll show you. She plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. She kissed him? Why do you think she kissed him? Maybe to show him that he was cared about? Maybe to kind of surprise him into making a choice? I'm not sure, let's see. Mr. Fish was astounded means surprised. Mr. Fish was gasped. His stone was like a statue. His stone face like a statue. And then he blinked and spoke at last. My friends, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought I was a pouty fish, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss, kiss fish with the kiss, kiss face. I spread cheery cheeries all over the place. Take a look. Is he pouting anymore? No, he's smiling. But if you look, all the other animals are upside down. 
So if you flip it over, he still has a pout, but he's making a choice. His body is just made for his face to look like that, but it's his choice if he's gonna be crabby about it, or grumpy, or if he's gonna be happy about it. And he's making a choice. So I'll, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll. <gasps> the end. So he was kind of grumpy. He didn't realize that it was his choice on how he felt. But then somebody showed him that he mattered and he changed his whole way of thinking. It's something like that when you're grumpy. One small thing can happen. It can change your whole way of thinking. The important thing when you're grumpy is to stop and realize it. Sometimes you might need to take a break in your room or maybe listen to a song that you like or maybe even just get a hug. Your brain needs to reset and start thinking again. Today, we have a game to play. Today, we're gonna do four different emotions, but we're gonna see if we can make them with our face. Are you ready? We don't need anything else but your face today. You might wanna use a mirror. You might, or you can just use a friend. We've got four emotions that we're gonna do today. Are you ready? Let's pick one. I think I'll do this one first. <gasps> Ooh. This emotion is called silly. So take a look. When you're silly, your eyes do things that are unexpected. Like here, you, the eyes are both pointing in the middle. And his mouth is different too. It's unexpected. What's happening with his mouth? Yeah, his tongue is sticking out. So can you make a silly face? Make your eyes do something unexpected and your mouth do something unexpected? Okay, you try. We're gonna do it together on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Did you make a silly face? Good job. Silly is when your eyes and your mouth are doing something unexpected. That shows the world you're being silly. Let's pick another emotion. Let's pick this one. Ooh, we know this one. This one, you see the eyebrows, they're really kind of down. So you gotta pull your eyebrows down. And your mouth gets really big and his cheeks are red because it's a strong emotion. This one is mad or angry. Can you show me your mad face? <sighs> You're gonna show me a mad face. Let's do it together when we count to three. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Did you do it? Excellent job. Strong emotions have a big change on our face. Let's do this emotion. Ooh, he's got a smile and his eyes kind of went closed. This is happy. When you're really, really happy, your smile will get really big. You might show your teeth and your eyes might start to close a little bit. They might stay open and that's okay. Let's do our biggest smile to show the world we're happy on the count of three. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Nice job! You did it. You showed the world that you were happy. We have one emotion left. This one's a tricky one. Oh, this one, our eyebrows go up and our mouth is open really big and our eyes get really big. So you gotta lift your eyebrows up and make your eyes really big. They're scared. Something's happening and they don't understand it. They're scared. Let's make a scared face on the count of three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Good job. You pretended to be scared. 
There are lots of emotions and they're all good, but we have to remember we can control how we're feeling. I can't wait to see you next time. We'll learn about another emotion, sing some more songs, and read some more stories. Until then, remember that you are very cared for, and I love you, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye, friends.